All right, we're in Moosic, Pennsylvania, home of the Scranton Wilkes Bear Rail Riders. And as you can see, we've got a gray sky and tarp on the field. Got some pregame rains coming down right now. So, fortunately, it's a light rain. Hopefully, it's going to hold off. See some blue sky off there a little bit. So, hopefully, that'll come through. We'll be able to get some pregame graphing in. And of course, get the game in. Post game graphing as well. We'll see what we do. All right, we'll have a food recap coming up after this, but first let's go with a graphing recap. See, we got pregame. First one we were able to get, Rob Brantley signed one and two cards for me before the game started. After that, we were able to get the manager of the Scranton Wilkes Bear Rail Riders, Doug Davis, signed five cards for me. There's one right there, one right there. Second copy of that one goes to my friend Matt. Got this one here as well. And one more right here for Matt. If I can now, I'll just have to get it out from there. The Keebler card for him. That's a big set that he's working on, so I was glad to be able to get that for him. We also got Ben Rortvet on a card that I've been holding since 2018. I picked that one up in Cedar Rapids. He had just gotten moved up, so we didn't get that one signed. And last one, continuing the streak. Heritage hit right there from Tyler Wade. So... Very happy to add that one in. We'll see what we can do post-game as well. Like I said, we'll bring the uh, food your way right after this. We'll bring some play-by-play -play as well. <laughs> All right, so we haven't done very many food reviews yet because, frankly, there just hasn't really been that exciting of food in a lot of these ballparks, but I finally have found something. We're here in Scranton, Wilkes-Barre, and uh, Polish food. I have not seen Polish food at a ballpark, but there we go. We've got Halushki. That is noodles with cabbage and onion. All kind of fried up together there, good stuff. And a little basket of pierogies. You can never go wrong with pierogies. I mean, that's that's just, that's, it's just rule number one of life, basically. So, I have not had a chance to try these out, but we're gonna give this a try and see how they are. And I tend to think I know my Polish food. I grew up in Cleveland, I've got family near Detroit. Those are a couple big areas for Polish food. So here we go, let's see what we got. That's very good on that halushki. Mm fried up very nicely very buttery mm. crap cabbage the onions add to it for sure really good really like it pierogies appear to be boiled and then fried usually how I try to make them when I can typically I mean it's easier just to boil them usually I try to cook them up like some sauerkraut and stuff but I'll take it like this just fine mm. a little crispy around the edges Pillowy soft inside on the mashed potato. Oh yeah, that's good stuff right there. So once again, the only ballpark I've found yet that serves Polish food. Scranton Wilkes Bear. Great stuff. I gotta give it a B plus overall. B to get an A, they give me some sour cream with it. Done. A, no problem. It's a B plus though. Very good overall. Aaron Littleton, what do we have for food? So it's pretty, pretty standard. I did get some cheese curds. Uh, they took a little while to make my burger, so I've already depleted the stash of those. To quote uh, Ned Redrop, Pennsylvania, land of cheese. <laughs> and what else we got here? And so this is this is uh, the American sliders. They also have uh, pulled pork sliders. And so these are pretty good. I guess we'll, I guess we'll start with the uh, with the cheese curds. You can't go wrong with fried cheese. I mean, that's just that's like a food group of its own. <laughs> Good. Yeah. It's got a, got a good flavor. I wish it had a little bit more of a crunch, but you know, you can't go wrong. Fried yeah. cheese, as you said. Yeah. Cheese, bread, oil, that's just a magic combination right there. Alright, slaughter, here we go. For the, for the first thing, I'm going to have to ding them because they didn't have mayonnaise. Oh, it's significantly smaller than the Nice to Meet You burger I see as no, well. <laughs> yeah, right, but there are three of them, so we'll Oh, see. well, there you uh, go. Maybe I should just stack this up and we'll go like. There we go, yeah, go just a gigantic <laughs> slider. Yeah, yeah right. Yeah, alright, here we go. I will say that this is very good. Yeah, there uh, you go. Cheese is, cheese is nice. The burger is warm, which is good because I had to wait on it like five very good. minutes. So it's seasoned pretty well. So so for a mayonnaise-less slider, pretty good indeed. How does it compare to the ones in New Hampshire last? Because you said that was really good there, what we had there. You know, I, said, I think New Hampshire was a little bit better. I'm going to give it the edge, but but this is this is pretty good, too. I don't know. I don't think I rated the one in New Hampshire, did I? Yeah, we didn't do any video on the New Hampshire stuff at all, so, so yeah. So, I don't know. I mean, this is, this is a solid B. I'll give it a B. All right, there you so, go. Yeah. So, I mean, B on both accounts here for uh, the foods here, so 
Not bad. I mean, better than a lot of the places we've been to so far. There we go. Got Tyler Wade coming to the plate here for the Scranton Wilkes Bear Rail Riders. One out right now in the bottom of the seventh inning. Buffalo with a five to four lead right now. First pitch put in play, ground to second, turning, throwing across well wide of the bag and coming off is the first baseman and Wade able to beat that one out. Tough play to make. I think you kind of have to call that one a base hit. So I think we'll keep it right here. We'll get one more at bat here since we have Ronald Guzman coming to the plate right after this. Guzman with a two run homer in the fifth inning, his first at bat of the game. He was brought in after Owens or Owings got, uh, Chris Owings got hit by a pitch. He tried to stay in the game and after a while he had to come out. He was playing in right field, so they moved the first baseman, Philip Evans, to right and brought in Guzman to play first. Runner first is Wade. He's off and running. First pitch swinging, fouled off. There's a new pitcher in the game here as well for Buffalo. Somebody I don't have. Oh, there he is. It's uh, Sean Rakoski that is on the mound right now, coming in in relief of. Tom Hatch, who got the start. Rakowski looking in, 0-1 as he comes set. Wade with a short lead here. Rakowski delivers. Fastball taken for a ball, 92 miles an hour, and it's 1-1. One one. Guzman on the year, a 247 hitter. That homer his seventh of this season. Again, Rakowski comes set. The 1 1 delivery inside, and it goes 2 and 1. Wade was off and running with the first pitch, but hasn't shown any sign of going here on either of these last two. It's five runs on seven hits with no errors for the Bisons. Four runs, six hits, one error for the Rail Riders. Quick throw to first, diving back, and nearly got him on that back foot that came flying up as he slid in there was Wade. They have officially scored that a single, it appears. No uh, error put up on the board. Just the one from earlier on an overthrow in about the second inning. Rakowski delivers. Check swing by Guzman. They say he held up. Had to appeal to the second base umpire there as uh, only three umpire, uh, only th a three-man umpiring crew in this game. Said he held up, though, and it'll be three and one. So with a good hitter's count, do you send Wade here? You have to ask if he was going on the first pitch. Rakowski delivers. In the dirt is going to go all the way to the backstop for ball four, and Guzman will get on with a walk. So an infield single and a walk to lead things off here in this, the bottom of the seventh for the Rail Riders. All right, we're back in our hotel here. It's time for the post-game wrap-up to show you how we did on that. And once again, clearing 20 autographs here tonight. The last one we were able to get, I'm just going to go in alphabetical order through my binder here, but the last one we were able to get for tonight, Oswaldo Cabrera. He's the number three prospect, I believe, in the Yankees organization right now. Number 11 prospect in the Yankees organization right now. It's off by a little bit, but still, number 11 prospect. Signed one right there. I was told uh, he typically signs everything, but just one for us all tonight, but I'm good with that. Uh, let's see, the very first one we got outside tonight after the game was Clark Schmidt. Got him on that heritage card. He's there with Esteban Floreal, and what sucks is I didn't realize it, but Cabrera came out with Floreal. I could have tried for Floreal and gotten the duel completed, but went for just Cabrera. Whatever, I'll take it. Uh, let's see, we also got Philip Evans, who signed all four cards that I had. He was the second to last one that came out. Show you one of those here. Let's go with the uh, yeah, let's go with that Tops rookie card right there. There you go. Uh, let's see. Uh, I missed Shane Green, unfortunately. What, uh, we were kind of... What sucks is, I mean, the area that we were in was fairly dark. The lighting was not the best on there, and trying to spot him was tough. I mean, I should have been able to spot him with that neck that he's got there. But, yeah, missed out on him and getting that heritage done. But I did at least get a heritage and several others from Ronald Guzman. Very happy to get that one. Former uh, Ranger. You see him play a lot in Frisco. And while I'm at it, I'll show you the Frisco team set card that I had on here as well that he signed. Had this one for... Quite a while now. This is a it's the 2016 Frisco Rough Riders team set right there. So got that one knocked out at least. Very happy to do that. Uh, we also saw Ryan Lamar. I think it's Lamar, Lamari, whatever. Something like that. Got him on three cards total, including the one there, the Bowman that I just showed you. This is always fun right here. I got the tops and tops mini of him. So yeah, fun stuff right there. Rookie card as well. So yeah. 
Oh, uh, let's see. Who else did I get? Was there anybody else in here? That was it from post game, but still, I mean, very good overall. I think, if I counted correctly, I think I got 24 autographs total between pre-game and post game out there, inching my way to 300. Which, I mean, a couple weeks ago, if I had, I was thinking my goal should be dropping from 500 to 300, and now. I should be able to make 300 here, maybe tomorrow. It's going to be kind of tough as far as our major league game, the only major league game of the trip. But I think, I don't think I'm going to have a problem getting 11 cards signed in the next nine games at least. So 300 is is a go. I'm going to go ahead and say it. 400, probably, but I don't want to go kind of my chickens yet. 500, that's still going to be a bit of a stretch, I think. But it's still in play. That's all I can really say at this point. So... There you go. Thanks for tuning in. We're going to Baltimore tomorrow, like I said. We're going to have uh, the Orioles and the Pirates coming into town. Going to get a bobblehead if we get there early enough for it, at least. So, looking forward to that. Hopefully, be able to get Boog Powell out there as well. And that's it. We'll see you tomorrow.